Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a tool which I've created, which makes it very easy to create your own Twitch bots for chat. So this tool allows you to read messages and write messages to chat very easily. So first things first, you're going to need a few things. What you're going to need first is Visual Studio, which I'm going to be developing the application in. This is using C Sharp. Second thing you're going to need is an account for your bot. Third thing you're going to need to do is make your account your bot account a moderator or your main account or whichever account that you're going to be connecting to this avoids some complications for example if your bot is trying to write messages really quickly twitch will automatically give a temporary ban for writing messages because it's considered spam but if you make your bot a moderator that won't happen so it's just to avoid complications like that and the third thing you're going to need to do is get an oauth token which is gonna allow your bot to be used for applications like this. So I've already created a bot account. It's called Akone Bot. So now what we're gonna need to do is get our OAuth token. And to do that, you'll go to this link right here, twitchapps.com slash TMI. So I'm just gonna do that for you right here. So this is the page right here. You're going to press connect and it's going to generate you an OAuth token. So you just want to copy this and save this as a variable, which we're going to use later. So we're going to say static string OAuth equals and just paste that right there. We're now finished with this page, so you can close out of that. And we're ready to get started. So what we're going to need to do now is create our Twitch chat handle, which is going to be handling our messages. So the way you do that is say Twitch chat handle. We're going to name this chat equals new Twitch chat handle. And as you can see here, it requires a OAuth token and a channel name. So the channel name is the channel you're going to be connecting to. I'm going to use mine for this example. So let's just put in our OAuth token. So we got OAuth. And the channel name is slappy underscore bacon underscore. All right. So now that we've created our, our chat handle, I'm going to walk you guys through our two main methods here, which is chat.read and chat.write. What chat.read does is waits for the next message to be posted in chat and then it returns some information so the information it returns is the sender of the message as well as the contents of the message and chat.write writes a message to the chat using your bot account so let's make an example of that really quick let's do chat.read first so what we're going to say is we're going to create a variable and call this chat entry And that is equal to chat.read. So this entry here is going to have the contents of the next message, which is posted in chat. And then we're just going to write some information to the console based on whatever is in that message. So we're going to say console write line, chat entry, sender. So this is the name of the person who sent the message. And then we're also going to write the chat entry message. So it's going to have the sender and then the message. And then let's just uh, wait for enter so it doesn't just exit right away. And press play. All right, so right now, it's sitting at this point, waiting for a message to be read from the chat. So what I'm going to do is write a message. Hello world. As you can see, the message has been posted to chat. And in this console window here, it says, Akone bot said hello world. However, this won't continue to read the messages because this isn't in a loop. It reads one message and then it waits to exit. So what I'm going to do here is make a loop of this. 
So while true, so this will go forever. I want to read the message and then log it to the console. Let's restart that. That's right. Test, test, one, two, three, bunch of numbers. As you can see, it says test, test, one, two, three, and then a bunch of numbers. Okay, so now that we've covered how chat.read works, I'm going to show you how chat.write works. So while true, we're going to keep using our loop here. Let's write the current time. That's a good example. We'll say date time now equals date time now. Say chat.write now to string. So this is getting the current time and it's going to write it as a string to the chat. And then just so this doesn't uh, blow up the computer, let's make it do that every two seconds. So it's going to sleep for two seconds and then do it again. All right, now let's run. As you can see here, every two seconds, it's writing the time. So that's essentially how the tool works. So you have your chat.read, chat.write, and you can use those to do whatever you like. All right, guys, I want to show you one more thing. And this is a pretty important point. If you're developing a bot for an account which has a lot of people chatting, and essentially what we're going to be doing is splitting the program into two separate threads. One thread is going to be constantly reading messages. And then the second thread is going to be processing the messages. And what this does is makes your program run a lot faster because you are going to be having two separate threads, each doing separate tasks. And also you won't be missing messages if they're coming in really fast, and let's say that your main thread is still processing the message from before, and another message comes through, it's not going to be ready for that message. And so this is how we get around that, by splitting it into two separate threads. So one of them is reading, and one of them is processing. So the way you do that is you're going to have a separate task. So right now, I'm just going to set up a separate void method, which is going to be running at the same time. We're going to call this process entries. So this main method here is going to be used for reading our messages. And this process entries method is going to be used to process the messages. So now we're going to create a list, which we're going to add our chat entries to. So this is going to be the queue of messages to be processed. So we're going to create a static list of chat entries. And we're going to call this chat entries. That equals a new empty list. And let's write our read method again. So we're going to create an infinite loop. So while true, chat entry equals chat dot read. And then all we're going to do with this thread is add it to the list. So chat entries, add the chat entry. So we're going to add that to the queue of, of entries to be processed. And now we're going to write our processing thread here. So we're going to create another infinite loop. And what this is going to do is look at the entry list and see if there's an entry present. So if chat entries dot count is greater than zero, so there's an entry in the list. What we're going to do is process entry zero. 
And then after we're done processing it, we're going to remove it. All right, so for the processing portion, let's just do the same thing we did in the first example and just log it to the console. Say console write line. And instead of saying chat entry, we're now gonna say chat entries at position zero because it's a list. Chat entries at zero. We're gonna say the sender. And then we're gonna put the message after that. Chat entry zero dot message. So that's once again, the first entry in the chat entries list. And then we're just going to remove it. Chat entries, remove at zero. And now, just in case the list is empty, we don't want to have just an infinite while loop, which isn't going to be doing anything. So what we're going to do is add a little bit of a sleep so that the thread isn't just constantly checking and checking and checking and checking at an insane speed. Let's just add a little bit of a sleep. So if there's no messages in the chat entries, we're going to say thread.sleep and just add like 50 milliseconds just so that thread isn't going to be hung up checking and checking and checking and checking super, super fast. All right. So now that we have our two threads written, so we have our main thread, which is going to read the entries and add them to a list. And we have our process entries, which is going to be logging the messages. We need to create a task, which is going to perform this because this isn't being called anywhere. So let's, let's run this on a separate thread. And the way you do that is create a task. We're going to call this process entries task. Why not? And that is going to be equal to task.run. And then to run this void method as a task, you need to put circle brackets, make an arrow, and then just write process entries. That's the method name. And now this task will run continuously as, until the program exits. It's also important to note that you need to run this task after this list has been created because it's going to be making reference to the list. So if the list doesn't exist yet, it will throw an error. So make sure you create the list and then you create the task after that in this order. So now let's go ahead and run the program. And as you can see, it's behaving the exact same as the first example that we did. So whenever somebody posts a message in chat, it's just going to log it here. But the difference is it's running on two separate threads. Anyways, that's about it. I'm going to leave this video off here and uh, yeah, happy programming.